Hello, everyone, and welcome here to Just Ask J Live on Facebook. I'm so excited that you are here today and that I'm here today. And guys, as you're coming on, you may want to join me live here. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. How is everybody today? Hi, everyone. It's me, Jay, and I'm so happy to be here today. I'm excited because I wasn't here last week and I missed the living crap out of you guys. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, was in Timmins last week and I have to be honest, I had a blast. I had such a good time, met some wonderful people, did some great readings and just really had some good fun good good fun you know with my friend nancy and her husband her family her mom everybody tina everybody out there and oh my god hello everyone so hi guys how are you doing it's just so nice to see everybody and as you're coming on could you please tell me where you're from i'd be so happy if you did do that so let me see here hi carol how you doing it's just so nice to see everybody and hi buffy it's nice to see you too my trip was amazing mary lee had such a good time and i stopped in at the watershed they're so amazing there and pam and her husband and their son and everybody that works out there I, I i just love the whole trip you know it's just nice to see everybody and you know people say are you coming back in the fall but i'm not because i am freaking busy i'm going to be doing a workshop actually in about a month from now here in sunbury so I'm kind of excited about that trusting your intuition here in sunbury and hi everybody hi mel and uh there and there's from Kirkland Lake. I love it out there. And um, I'm doing great, Cheryl. Hi from New Jersey. But you know, I was um, in Timmins, as I said, and, and I had such a great time there. But coming up September, busy, busy. I'm doing Trust Your Intuition, and I'm also um, going to be in Pittsburgh. I have a contract to do out there, so I'm going to be doing some stuff out there. So excited to go out there and uh, I'm also really happy because I have a show in Sudbury uh, my last part of the year of course I always do one at Halloween time because I freaking love it but I'm going to do a more intimate show so not more than 300 at um, you know at the Lexington Hotel and the training by the way the trusting your intuition for those of you who are interested very small groups so if you're interested in that yay you know, I'd be so excited to see you. And if you're looking for tickets, mediumjlane.com. Hi, Kaylee. How you doing? And Jay Junebug. How you doing, little Junebug? And you're from London, Dawn, like London, England or London, Ontario. I have some great friends from London, Ontario. And actually, the girl that works on my website's from London, Ontario. And I go see her every once in a while. So hi, Amy. How you doing, sweetie? It's so nice to see you. And Nancy from... PA, and that's, I'm going to guess, Pennsylvania, I think, or Pasadena. Jeez, I think it's Pennsylvania. Correct me if I'm wrong, Nancy. I love Pennsylvania. It's like one of my freaking favorite states. Um, I love everything. I love the water gap out there, and uh, it's just beautiful. Hi, Rick. How are you doing all the way from Wawa, Ontario? It's so nice to see everyone, and say hi to Car um, Carrie for me. So uh, let me see. Chemi Girl is in the house. Hi, Felicia. How you doing, sweetie? Oh, my God. And Eileen. Oh, my God. You're missing me from New York, are you? <laughs> I'm so glad. Bonjour. Comment ça va, Joanne? J'espère que ça va bien aujourd'hui. I'm trying to brush up on my French because it, like, freaking sucks. Um, let me see. Karen from Elliott Lake. I love Elliott Lake. I was talking to my cousin from there yesterday. So I have a great cousin that lives out there, and I love her, and I love him. I love all my cousins. Uh, let me see. From Woodstock, Denise. Wow. Yeah, Felicia, you know what? I was off last week. I was in a nice, beautiful little community north of here called Timmins, Ontario. It's about three and a half hour drive, but for me, it's four hours because I like to go shopping in between. And, um, you know, I was up there doing some readings for a couple of days. I'm just enjoying, like, the sun was so beautiful. It rained a bit too, but mostly sunny. But so happy to connect with some really good friends out there. So it was kind of a little break for me too. So it's really, yeah, I missed you too, Amy. Oh my God, I missed everybody. So, 
Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I can stand. I love you, Buffy. But you know what? I um, hi, Sherry. You know, I just, I'm just so, uh, just happy to be back. I want to get started with some readings now, guys. Did you guys see that I invited? Like, because I'm not doing this invite people two days ahead anymore because poor Rachel can't even keep up. But just to let you know, uh, what what you want to do is if you want to join me here live on Facebook. All you have to really do is follow the link that I've left you, but you need, first things first, you need a Chrome browser. If you don't have a Chrome browser, sucks to be you, because you'll get on, but I won't see you. So if I can't see you, sucks to be you. <laughs> Second thing you need is one of these little suckers here, because if you have a microphone and you don't have this independent from your microphone, it feeds back to me so I can't hear you. So if I ask you if you have a headset and you say no, or earbuds and you say no, me. No can do, okay? So I can't have you on because if I can't hear you, I can't read for you. Yay. So I hope you understand that. So yay. Hi, Dawn. How you doing? So I'm going to get started. So now first things first, I need you guys to freaking share this. So please share this post. Make me happy to pig and poo, as my mother would say. And Lisa, I'm really, really good. Any better, I'd be triplets. So I'd be able to cancel my old hip. I'm really, really doing fantastic tonight. Feel totally connected. So that's even better. Hi, Brenda. How you doing, sweetheart? I just love you. You're awesome, girl. And hey, from Gravenhurst. I miss Gravenhurst. I was talking about it today. But guys, I want you guys to ask me questions. Or if you have um, any questions, anything like that, please ask me. I'm picking randomly. I could see maybe five questions or comments at a time. Ask away more than once, but not 150 million times. Uh, second thing is I want to get viewers up. So I need you guys to share. And just because I feel so good when people share, the more energy, the better it is for me. Um, so, oh, I'm so sorry, Pauline. Oh, my God. So anyways, I'm going to start reading. So I'm going to pick people. Please share. Show me a heart beside your comment telling me that you've shared. Okay. Pauline, I just want to read your comment. It says, hi from Scotland. Oh, my God. Okay. Sorry. It's been a while. Had another three losses. Oh, my God, Pauline. <sighs> Okay, so did somebody have a liver problem around you or something to do with toxins in the blood, Pauline? I just need to know. And I can't pronounce your last name for the freaking life of me. Mech Climent. Is that it? Okay, so we're going to see that. Oh, thank you, Jessica. I love you guys in Texas, too. I love all my peeps out there. Hi, Melissa, all the way from New York. I'm talking right now as you're coming on. My name is Jay. I'm a psychic medium out of Northern Ontario, and I absolutely love people all over the world. Um, let me see. So Pauline, I'm asking here from Scotland. She said she had three losses, but I just uh, love watching you uh, in Scotland. Thank you so much, Pauline. But Pauline, I need to know, did somebody have a liver or even maybe even a kidney problem with there's toxins in the blood, it looks like, or green blood, which could be septicemia, infections of the blood, that kind of thing. I just need to know, sweetheart. So could you answer me? I'm going to go look for your answer. Oh, well, Pauline, I think you're going to be happy, sweetheart, but you need to believe that because you're not believing that and you kind of convinced yourself otherwise. Will we ever get to bury Kenny? Oh, my God. Pauline, I need you to answer the question for something wrong with the blood. So I don't know if you had somebody. Yes, my boyfriend passed. Did he have something wrong with his blood, honey, or his liver or his kidneys or septicemia, or infection of the blood, or who is that around you, Pauline, that would have had that? Alec, is that your boyfriend? I'm going to go look for your answer. And I'm speaking to Pauline all the way from Scotland. And I don't think, yes, my partner died, Alec. Did he die of something wrong with the blood, sweetheart? I just need to know. So I need to know if it's kidneys, liver, toxins in the blood, okay, something like that. Pauline, I just need to know. I'm going to go, yes, liver. Thank you. Okay. Now, right away, when you're talking to me, Pauline, I know you talked about three more losses, but the one that comes around you the most makes me feel that he had something wrong, either with the liver, could be the kidneys, but I was seeing the blood as being green. For me, 
that means usually ki kidneys or livers because liver or kidneys when they're not working properly they're not taking out the toxins now i don't know if he had been sick for a while but he kind of makes me feel like he'd been feeling good i don't know if someone around you had a pancreas or gallbladder problem too or really sore side but they make me feel something like that pauline so that energy is around you quite a bit i don't know if there was something to do with uh, july or 7 or 16 or 20 um, I don't know if it's a birthday anniversary or um, a pa uh, birthday anniversary or passing, uh, but just to let you know, Pauline, all oh, livers through drinking. I'm so sorry to hear that, Pauline. But the thing is, they also make me feel there's something to do with sevens or July or the 7th, or the 16th, 1 plus 6 is 7, or the 25th, Pauline. So I don't know if you had birthday, anniversary, passing around that, but just to let you know, I'm also, I'm so sorry to hear that, Speedy, but there's something to do with that as well that he's acknowledging, okay? Or you have a pain, in, oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Oh, your anniversary? Okay, so July is your anniversary, so I understand that. Because he just talks about July or 7 or 16 or 25. So I understand. Now, Pauline, you will find somebody else. He makes me feel that he will bring you someone, but you need to start believing that. And sometimes we tend to, like when we have so much loss like you've experienced, my heart goes out to you. But when you have so much loss like that, it's difficult because... And what happens in a case of a lot of loss, uh, people, how would I say it? They start to lose hope that there's anything good that's going to come ahead for themselves. So they start to think that life's just a shit show, you know, and that nothing really good's going to come of it. But I'm going to tell you right away, I feel really, really, really good for you. So you need to start believing that, sweetheart. You need to start believing in yourself. So I want to thank you so much for writing in, honey. And you know, do you understand that, Pauline? I'm so glad if you do. But I think you've got really good things coming. You just need to believe it. I think that you feel, oh, oh, he was shot. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Oh, my God. Can I ask, Pauline, was he shot from behind, like we're in the back? I'm so sorry to ask you. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. It's just right away I felt that. Is it okay? Is my mom okay? She's with them. I'm so sorry to hear that, sweetie. But I would think all of them are really good. Trust me. They're very happy. I don't know if there's like 9 or September there too. Or uh, September or 9 or 18 or 27. Do you know if, she, um, if, he was, if Kenny was shot in the back like from behind? Shot. Okay, mom, hang on. I thought I saw your answer. Shot in back and head. Yeah. So he's with him too because when you say that Kenny was shot, it has to be from behind. And so he was shot in the back and head. So I understand. But you can't even be there too, sweetheart. I want to thank you so much. I'm going to go on to another question, but I want to thank you so much for sharing that, for sharing your pain with us. And I'm going to tell you, Pauline's are with you all the time. Don't worry about them. You can see them again one day. You need to be very, very positive and think of the things that you want, sweetheart. You've had a lot of devastation and a lot of difficulty around you. And the thing is, I think things will get better, but you need to believe that, honey. Okay? Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Alex passed. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry about Alex and Kenny. So I'm going to move on. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Frank. Uh, it's very, very nice to meet you. And yes, Ricardo does pop in every once in a while. And they do make me feel that better things are coming ahead for you, Frank. Uh, I don't know if you have June around you or 6 or 15 or 24, but right away I see a great big fat number 6. So I don't know if you can relate to that. But the thing is, I get the sense of that. Um, I don't know if somebody had trouble breathing around you or difficulties in the lungs. I don't feel like it's for a very long time, so it could be just a very, um, a very, um, how would I say it? 
um, short-lived in the lungs, not like an ongoing issue, but I also see that. So just to let you know that. And so I want to thank you so much for joining us. But I don't know if you can relate to that, um, June or 6 or 15 or 24. And that actually, um, Franco, would be for birthdays or for anniversaries or for passings. So I want to thank you and welcome you here. And just to let you know, good things are coming for you that make me feel much better around you. So I feel good about that. And I hope you can relate to some of the things I was telling you. But that's kind of what I get around you, sweetie. So thank you so much. Now, guys, I want to hear from you. But I have beautiful Amy here who's helping me tonight. And Amy is also giving everybody the link so that you guys can join me here live. And so I'm going to go try to find that, actually. But if I can copy that, I can actually put that right on my screen right here and show this. So if you want to join me live, you won't be able to copy and paste that from the screen, but go find Amy's comment because Amy's helping me tonight. And thank you so much, Amy, by the way. But I would go into another browser, paste that in there, and come and join me. And so all you have to do is have a Chrome browser and a headset or some earbuds so that I can hear you. And if you don't have that, I can't talk to you. So I want to thank you guys so much. Um, you know, and, and the thing is, I was um, organizing people to come on, you know, through Rachel. But the thing is, sometimes people wouldn't show up and I wouldn't have someone's entire name, that kind of thing. And so, you know, um, it's just sometimes it's just difficult to try to organize that so i decided to just make them random so if you're looking for a reading or if you just want to come pop by and say hi if you happy to say hi to you and come just ask jay questions so there we go so hi from new zealand let me see i'd love to hear from anana jennifer oh i work sweet now i gotta ask you alicia right away and thank you from New Zealand, oh my goodness, I'm a good friend from New Zealand, so he's an amazing person. But I need to ask you, do you have January or October around you or 1, 10, 19, or 28 birthdays, anniversaries, passings? And it could be the 1st or the 10th or the 19th or the 28th of any month or January or October for birthdays, anniversaries, or passing. So Alicia Robinson, all the way from New Zealand. Oh my goodness. So I need to know that, sweetie. So here we go. I'm going to go look for you. January or October or the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th. And someone says, oh, you're using numerology. I'm just using number ones. I'm adding them up together. That's what I'm doing. And I don't quite use it in numerology like that I use it for a different purpose, but it's kind of interesting. Let me see here. I'm going to look for you, Alicia. January or October for you, birthdays, anniversaries, or passings, honey. Just need to know. Hopefully, you're still on. I'm going to go look for you. And if I don't see you, I'm going to move on to somebody else just to let you know. Okay. So, whoops, where did you go? Alicia Robinson. My Nana passed on the first of June this year. Yeah. It's just because I'm seeing the number one around you. So if it's not January or October, one plus zero is one, it's the first of any month or the 10th of any month, the 19th or the 28th. So if that's your Nana, I got your Nana around you. And it could have been her birthday, but if she passed on the first, she's definitely around you. Who's, um, Who's in February or November, Alicia? February or November or uh, 2, 11, 20 or 29? So just to let you know, February or November or 2, 11, 20 or 29? Just need to know, honey. And Alicia, February or November, birthdays, anniversaries, passings, honey? or the second, or the 11th of any month, or the um, 2 11 2029. Let me see. Where did you go? Where'd you go, Alicia? Alicia, darling, all the way from New Zealand.
So that's her. Okay. So great, great grandmother passed November. Cause I get that that comes along with your number one, because the thing is, if it's not February or November, which is one plus one is two, it's the second or the 11th or the 20th or the 29th of any month, but that's around you as well. So just to let you know, I feel good about you. I don't know if you had to make some decisions around something the last few months, but they make me feel a lot better around you. Like, oh, finally, oh, I can finally let that go. Like, I feel like I can let stuff go or I can feel like I can walk away from a situation now without like feeling like I'm going to die about it. You know what I mean? So I feel good about that. So I think you've got better things coming. Don't worry so much. I've seen, I keep seeing a rash, like a skin rash or something. And I don't know why I keep on seeing like a really, really red rash. So I don't know if that's around you, Alicia, or someone around you has a really bad skin problem. It's really quite red, but just, and I don't know if you can like validate that but there's someone showing me that it looks pretty it looks pretty bad actually so oh, i'm so sorry it just feels oh i can feel it burning so i don't know if it's something to do like with the skin problem or something to do with that but uh let me see things are hectic yeah but they're starting to look up but watch around rashes too or like skin problems like really red skin or burning or something yeah it could even be shingles someone's just suggested shingles I don't think it would be for Alicia but around you Alicia I don't know it could be something like that but it just looks like really really red skin or really inflamed skin so and Alicia I would think that's around you somehow sweetie so if you see someone like that maybe just encourage them to go to the doctors or something because it looks pretty raw pretty red you know, so I don't know if you can validate that, but that's that's what I'm getting. I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, there you are. Oh, so you have dermatitis. Okay, but just watch around your skin because, like, it's really red and really dry or really irritated looking, and it, like, feels like it's burning or something. So be careful around that if that's you, sweetie. But thank you so much for, for popping in all the way from New Zealand, sweetheart. I've got a couple people here, hopefully. Um, I'm going to go see who's in the guest room. So thank you so much. And I'm going to be coming back to take your questions. In the meantime, guys, please share this post. I'd be so freaking happy. And please put a little heart beside your comments when you're asking. Now, Karen, back there. Do you hear me, Karen? You have your buds in too? Yes? Okay, good girl. Okay, so let me come and get you. So I have no idea who this lady is, but her name is Karen. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Karen. Oh, I Hi. can hear you. How are you, Karen? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good. Where are you? I'm in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Do you have February or November around you? Just need to ask. Uh, February or November. My father is born in November. Yeah, okay. And 2 11, 20 or 29, just curious. 2 11, 29. 20 or 29? Uh, November, uh, 11, November 11 is his birthday. That's him. Okay, no, that's perfect. Is he still here? No. I didn't think so. Okay. No. But there's two others with him. Were there twins in that family? No, there was a brother, though, that looked very much like oh, him. Oh, freaking right. Because yeah. I got lookalikes or twins coming yeah, through. Yeah, they were oh, mixed yeah. up a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine they almost look identical. Yes. Okay, yeah. like for me, but yeah. they make me feel look alike. Did yeah. somebody have like a farm? Mm. I don't know if they had a farm. They lived like on the land, like not oh, really okay. a farm, but yeah. Did you know if they farmed the land? Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't say not really, no. Okay, but there must be big properties then because I see yeah, lots yeah, of acreage. Yeah, lots of land, yeah. Yes, so yeah. I would get that, lots of land, and usually with that comes along animals or farming or like, agriculture that kind of thing i could ask you the stupidest thing is there somebody that fell inside a well mm. or is there something to do with like uh something in a well i don't no, i don't know like my father used to dig wells so maybe okay, no, I don't no, know. that's okay is that what okay. he did for a living well no he used to do that for the cabin people around like help build the wells and stuff yeah Okay, because they're showing me wells, and I'm wondering why the hell are they showing me wells and dig? Because I'm thinking maybe they're looking for something, or oh, okay. so it's just a well digger. 
Yeah, like he used to, he built, he did a well for our cabin and stuff too, yeah. Oh, he must have done a few then, honey, because yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay, yeah. so I understand. Because so I'm thinking, yeah. who the hell's digging wells or fixing wells? Okay, because I just see the wells. Now, um, did somebody break an ankle around you? or did somebody... Yeah, my dad broke his ankle. That's your dad. Years ago. Yeah. 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 When did he pass, honey? Uh, five, almost five years ago now. No, but like what month? Oh, sorry, September. September what? Uh, 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, 09, 10. Hang on, I just want to, I just got to, I just got to count something out because okay. they're saying something, but I don't think they're giving me uh, letters. I think they're giving me numbers. Hang on a sec. Is March important? Mm, March is my, my father-in-law's birthday. Oh, okay. Is there somebody in your family that's on the 12th? Mm. In March or no, any time? No, any month, like the 12th? Mm. Oh, yeah, my daughter. My daughter. Oh, that's your she's, daughter. Yeah, okay. yeah. She's followed a lot from spirit. So oh, just okay. so that you know that, because they make me feel they look over 12. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So for me, that's not a bad thing. Um, is there something to do with going out of town? Uh, for me or for sure. anybody. Maybe I might be going out of town. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know, but they just make me feel there's something to do with going out of town, but someone's going to follow them around or follow you around. But they okay. make me feel that. But anyways, um, just to let you know, Karen, what I'm seeing around you too are like really swollen lungs or like lungs that have labored a little bit. So, yeah. For, yeah. so I don't know who had the really shitty lungs. Yeah. That was my dad. Yeah. But I'm telling yeah. you, he really, really labored with those lungs. Yeah, so he, he did, makes yeah. me feel he put up a hell of a fight for that. Okay. He did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. And there was no way anybody was going to tell him when he was going to die. Okay. <laughs> so he's tough as nails. Yeah. All right. So it doesn't make me feel like a bad guy. It makes me feel pretty good. Okay. The brother that's the lookalike's always with him. So oh, the nice. thing is he must be passed away because he has yes. to be. Yeah, he passed he does, before him. Yeah. yeah. But he was so happy to see him. Oh yes. my God. Yes. There's yes. someone else that's coming through much younger. Much younger. Hmm. A second, eight, nine years old. Oh, I don't know who that is. So that could be on that side of the family too, you know? Yeah, yeah I don't I don't know. Yeah. It looks like someone died in the thirties, maybe forties. Have you heard any stories like that? Like in the 1930s, 1940s? Yeah. Yeah. Seven, uh, eight, nine years old, maybe. Male, hmm. I think. Yeah. It could yeah, be. I like, don't know. Like my father's grandfather, my father's grandfather died in the 1930s, but he was a, like a. Oh, no, like no, like but a, he'd be a, a grandfather. He'd be a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. No, no, this yeah. is a child. Yeah, yeah. No. I don't recall any stories, no. I don't even know if it's like from a fever or something because they're showing me a bed now. Oh, okay. Yeah, there oh, could yeah. be death and nobody talked about it, so I don't know. It looks like a younger a, a younger boy, but maybe just ask. I think it would be okay, on your dad's, yeah. side, your dad's side, not your mom's side. Yeah. So I'm feeling that now. Yeah, so there's something to do with that, unless it's a younger cousin or something or a younger brother, but there's something to do with that. But it looks like it's like 40s, 30s, 40s. It's been a while. But anyways, I'm so glad that your dad came through. Yes. He around you quite a bit. Thank you. That's yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm really happy that you watched me all the way from Alberta. It makes me happy. Oh, yes. Take the cake on my freaking God. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank I you. Just, Thank you. I, I love doing this. So what prompted you to come on? Have you have you tried getting on before? No, I haven't tried getting on before, and I watch mm -hmm. sometimes. Then all of a sudden, I just picked up my phone from the charger, and I saw that you were live, and that I had the link to go live, and I thought, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now, and then Thanks I did it. Here you. I am. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm really happy. And you know, yeah. I get the odd person on, which is really great. I'm going to go talk to somebody out there. There's so many people on. I just love it. But you know what? I want to thank you so much for taking the time to come and help me out and just to come thank and you. chat with me. I really enjoy it. Thank you it. very much. Thank Take you. care, Karen. Have a good okay, day, bye. sweetheart. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Oh my God, I just love people so much. So guys, that's kind of how it works. And so her dad came through loud and clear. He gave me his birthday. And so it's interesting. They talk about the way they die. Sometimes they just talk about who's around them. And sometimes it's as simple as that. But boy, oh boy, was that one ever loud? So guys, as you're coming on, just you know, ask me questions. It's kind of interesting. You know what I mean? Um, I just love talking about all of these. Yeah, I wish you had a headphone too. You know what, guys? Get a freaking headphone. It's awesome. I just love doing this. Um, Amy, if you could please put the link on again. I could put it on the screen here, but the thing is it's hard to copy and paste. So Amy's going to be able to put that link down. Otherwise, I have to go off and... Uh, It'd be crazy to do that. So let me see. Chantal, Chantal, March or December or three or 12 or 21 or 30, loud as a freaking bell. So I don't know if that's like a birthday or an anniversary or a passing, but boy, do I ever get threes around you. So they just make me feel that someone's peeking in. I don't know if you had somebody that had like a stroke or an aneurysm, didn't die from it, but ended up dying of something else but I feel that too around you. So I don't know who the heck that is. Now, Chantel, I think that things are gonna get a little bit better around you, but the thing is sometimes we imagine the worst to happen. So I think that you need to not think of those freaking things and think about what you want rather than what you don't want. Sometimes we can be the author of our own misfortune, you know? So just to let you know that. Um, guys, there's somebody that just comes through that talked about um, hanging in a closet. I'm so sorry, and it's like, the second room to I think the right hang on I'm so sorry second room the room has blue walls hang on they're hanging inside the closet not outside of it inside the closet I uh, I keep on seeing like two o'clock so I don't know if it's afternoon or a.m. AM or PM. Um, it, I don't know if it's a main floor or basement. I, all I see is if I'm going down the hall and turn into the second room on the right, and the wall is like a funny blue. So if you have someone that hung in a side of a closet in a blue room, second room on the right, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm seeing. Someone just someone just showed up. So I, I just, if you guys have that, let me know, please. Uh, let me see. So, Chantal, I'm going to go look for your comment, honey. Let me see. Chantal, March or December or 3 or 12 or 21 or 30. She's not here. Where did you go, Chantal? Let me see. Abigail, second room on the right, and it has to be a blue bedroom. Has to be. Okay. So Chantal Croft, I'm not seeing you at all. So March or December or 3, 12, 21 or 30. Okay, so I'm gonna move. Oh, there, my daughter's birthday. Is it March or December or 3, 12, 21 or 30? March 2nd, okay. So I understand. But anyways, I see March all the way around you. So if you have March around you, you definitely have two spirits in visitation. One makes me feel they were very sick and I almost think it's cancer. And I was really, really upset. Like I did not accept this whatsoever. So there's non-acceptance of my disease or there's non-acceptance that I'm gonna die. So just to let you know, I really strongly feel something like that around you, Chantal. I don't know who that would be for you, but they come through, they're pretty happy to be on the other side. And so for whatever they had to suffer, they make me feel it was well worth the trip. I hate to say it like that, but they make me feel they really enjoy the other side or it's less stressful. So there's definitely something to do with that, you know? Yeah, it's March or December or three or 12 or 21 or 30. It could be in any month, that kind of thing. So just to kind of clarify that date, because I see a couple people writing in 
with different dates. And uh, I'm okay with March 2nd because Chantal, if it's March, I'm really happy about that. ALS, I'm so sorry about that. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, but a lot of suffering. And ALS, I would imagine a lot of suffering, but I would definitely feel like, they make me feel like very, very shortchanged about that. And so I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Your father-in-law, oh, I'm so sorry, honey. But you know what? very happy walk in the park is the way they say it so in other words you know i might have had to go through a lot here but it was well worth it for whatever i'm experiencing there so they're really quite happy so i'm glad december 10th he passed away so december is that 12 again so march or december so i'm glad you had the march and december connection so chantal absolutely there's a lot of suffering with that but it doesn't make me feel he remembers that so thank you so much for for you know, allowing me to pick on you, sweetie. I've got someone else in that green room. So I'm gonna go get that person and then I'm gonna come back and read for you guys. Now guys, as you're coming on, if you could please share this post and be so freaking happy. And thank you very much, Chantal. I really appreciate you. So I'm gonna go get Kristen. Kristen, do you have a headset? No, then I can't come and get you because I need a headset, I know. Must have Chrome browser, must have headset or earbuds. Because what happens is I'll end up losing you or not hearing you. It's just frustrating for me. Can you think you can get a headset? Okay, connect them and make sure you're hearing and let me know when you're when you're all connected. She found the headset. <laughs> I can see her in the back. I don't know, Kristen, right? Chris Kirsten. Kirsten. Ooh. Okay. So Kristen, are you hearing through your headset? I can't see your face, all I see is your ceiling. Okay, you're not hearing through your headset yet? Okay, you know what you could do is log off and log back in, allow your headset, okay? I'll come and get you in a minute. Guys, if you're joining me, I'm having guests here in the back room. I just invite anybody randomly. So if you wanna come and have a chat with Jay, Come and join me. I'd be happy to talk to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to take some questions for from you. Now, I need to know something. I need to know if somebody was found hung in a closet, second bedroom to the right, and it's a blue bedroom. So just to let you know that. Is there anybody that has somebody like that? Blue, ugly walls. Sorry. It's just like depressing. Hi, Adair. Oh my God, you're so freaking cute. Okay, but there's something to do with the hanging inside of a closet. I'm so sorry to say that, but I keep on getting that vision. Are you, is your headset working, Kristen? Kirsten? Do you hear me? Okay, she does hear me, good. Okay, so guys, if you have anyone like that, that hung inside a closet, hate to ask, it's a blue bedroom and it's the second room to the right. I need to know. So if you guys have anything like that. So I'm going to go talk to Kirsten. Right now I'm seeing her ceiling again. So I hope that I will keep on seeing her ceiling. So Chris, Kirsten, there. I need your face on your cute little mug right there. Okay, so here we go. Hi, cutie pie. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, what are you doing? Um, well, I was just outside with the kids enjoying the beautiful day. <laughs> it is. It's gorgeous out. It is. Yeah, we've been outside all day. So, yeah. you know what I keep on seeing is those banana popsicles. Remember those? Yes. Oh, my God. That's all I see. Is that you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Banana no. popsicles? No. That's all I'm seeing. But anyways, can I ask you about me? Me. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Either yeah. that, yeah. either that, if it's not May the 5th or the 14th or the 23rd mean anything to you? Uh, 5, 14, or 23. I'm just kind of curious. I know, I know how to open them. Oh, how cute. I can hear kids. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay, sweetie. I'm trying to think um uh, that's okay don't you don't yeah you, okay 
I'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. No pressure around that. It's just because I keep on seeing the number five around you. And if it's not May, it's the 5th of any month or the 14th or the 23rd. And it could be a birthday, it could be an anniversary or a passing. The only other thing I can think of is if I were to dissect the number 14, it would be January 1st to the 14th or October 1st to the 14th. Or it could be April 1st to the 14th and 23 is February 2nd to February 23rd or March 2nd to March 23rd. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Did I say that too fast? Um, no, 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 it's okay. It's just, uh, I have a hard time thinking on the spot like that. But um, my, I think my grandfather was born in uh, May. Okay. I believe. Um, I've been seeing a lot of numbers around me lately. So I kind of, that's why I really wanted to get on tonight. Oh, okay. To talk but, to you. Yeah. But I'm seeing fives around you, so 5 or 14 or 23. And yeah. I didn't know why or May. And if your grandfather's passed or if his birthday was in May, it's most likely he's around you. Because May's my strongest feeling around you. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, yeah I had a dream about him uh, two nights ago, so maybe. Yeah. No, but he's around you. So I think he's the one who watches it over you the most. And it could be that you had other go-to spirits. But I, I picked that up because I think it's May or 5, 14 or 23 or those dates I mentioned like January, October 1st to the 14th, April 1st to the 14th or February 2nd to the 23rd or March 2nd to March 23rd is the only other thing I can think of. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But anyways, where are you located? Like, where do you live? I live in Timmins. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I missed you when you came up. Yeah, I, oh, I had such a freaking good time. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had an amazing time. Um, but anyways, uh, just to let you know, I don't know if there's like a big change around somebody in your family, but they make me feel there has been. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know if someone's like um, just experienced like a massive change in their life, like, you know, like a job loss and a moving or something like that. But they make me feel someone's going through a rather large change, you know. So I don't know who that is. If that hasn't happened, that would be soon. But they don't make me feel it's you. They make you feel it's around you somehow. Okay. okay. So for me, you're going to hear about that. I don't know if someone talked about like going back to school. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah. But I hear that like going back. So it's like maybe I, you know, went out early or something or I quit in the middle of something. So for me, that's what it kind of makes me think of. Yeah. But they make me feel very successful about going back, you know. Okay. So what did you want to take? Healthcare? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, well, good for you because it yeah. makes me feel rather good about healthcare. Wow. Huh. Yeah, I was debating whether I should go back because my daughter's um, she's only a year and a half. So it was a little too soon to go back in September. Um, so I figured, you know, next September. But yeah. definitely, I haven't stopped thinking about that for months. It's been bothering No, but I think it's just because you're creating that reality now. So it's going to happen for you. But I think you're going to go. I really do. Yeah. I feel good about it, actually. So it's almost like you're so motivated. I'm just going to freaking do it. Yeah. And, and the thing is, I think you do well, you know, and I think there's a need for what you're looking for. And um, I'm pretty happy about it. So you're pretty smart then, eh? <laughs> well, they make you feel your smarty pants. <laughs> That's funny. Well, they do. Aww. Yeah. Can I ask you a stupid question? Sure. Did someone lose an ice cream or something? Pardon, sorry? Did someone lose an ice cream or drop like a milkshake or an ice cream or something? I'm just curious. Or did something spill like ice cream or? Probably. You know when you have a cone that kind of dies? <laughs> well, if, uh, I don't know, maybe, rec I don't know if that happened recently, but uh, like a month ago, maybe. Okay. What was it? I don't know if it's uh, the thing that, like, uh, if it's the same thing we're talking about, but what if my kids dropped their ice cream? They wanted a three yeah. scoop ice cream cone and uh, they were they were warned. And, and it the fell. scoop fell off, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel. So that was last month? Yeah, it was quite a long time ago. 
Okay. Unless it happened recently, it could have. Well, the thing is, it wouldn't be just like last year or the year before. They make me feel like, you know how you scoop your ice cream or you have ice cream and you lose like part of your ice cream? <laughs> or, well, or you spill like your milkshake. It's got to be like, like, like milkshake or ice cream. Like, you know oh, what I mean? Well, I, I dropped my ice cap this morning in the house. I don't know. That okay. Was, it I could even so be mad. that. Is it brown? Yeah, it's brown. <laughs> oh, okay. But anyways, it could even be that. But I feel like I... Like there's, it's on the floor. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how I feel like with this ice, ice cream, ice milk, ice, ice, like, ice. I think like, it, it might, yeah, well, it, it might have been my ice cap this morning. And as soon as I got it, I, yeah, I, like I dropped it. Dropped it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I understand. But yeah. So if that's you, like, I feel like I spilled something and like, I mean, it could be last one too. It could just be that ice cream, but it's like a mess. Um, <laughs> But I feel pretty good. Um, is your is your gum sore or something, or is like I'm sore up here when I talk to you? Well, it's not sore right now, but um, once in a while, my arm's been actually really sore. <laughs> okay, but is there somebody that has like a gum problem up here or sore like tooth or something? Oh, actually, that's my son. Um, he was complaining. Of, uh, I don't know if it's top or bottom, but uh, it's sore on the side. Yeah. So so yeah. the thing is, I ever since I've been talking to you, like I'm just a little bit sore on my right here, but it's just that someone's got a sore gum or a sore tooth around you. If it's yeah. not you, it's close. Yeah, just, I keep an eye on that. Yeah, that would be my son. And uh, actually, we're going to the dentist in the morning. So, but no, you're yeah. gonna have to. Yeah, so your grandpa's around, but you're gonna have to because they make me feel that. And I would keep an eye on that even after your dental appointment. Okay. Keep an eye. So I don't know why, but I have to tell you that. So if it starts bothering you again a week or two later, okay. get them back in, like just in case. Okay, I could be off about that, but I'm sore here. Like okay. it could be just because you're going tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I'm okay with that. Okay, <laughs> good. Well, I'm really happy you popped on. Yes, thank you so much. Hey, <laughs> have you ever have I ever read for you other otherwise? Um, yeah, you did last year in. Oh. Uh, yeah, and then actually I went to your show back in April, I think it was, or mm -hmm. uh, when you came to Timmins. So, yeah, and you did read me in the crowd. It was pretty funny. So. <laughs> oh, yeah? Did I embarrass the shit out of you? No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Damn, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try not to, though. You know what? And You know when to be funny and when not to be funny, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've embarrassed a few people, but I always ask them, can I embarrass you? And they always say yes. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll, um, I don't know if I'll be back. I know I'll be back in Timmins probably in May of next year. Okay. So, but yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that because like I have friends all, like I love Timmins. So I've made some good <laughs> friends there. So it's like, it's like a holiday when they go, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's freaking awesome. I want to thank you so much for being on today. Yes. Thank you so much. Take care, sweetheart. Take care. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this. So, yeah, the link is working. Amy, don't worry about it. I have uh, three people back here. So, Amy, the link is working, darling. So, don't worry about it. So, and I can't pick everybody. I can only pick so many people. But please, you know, if you want to go live, Angel, what you have to do is you have to put the link in a different browser, the Chrome browser, and you have to have a headset or some earbuds. And the thing is, I don't pick everybody because sometimes people don't have the equipment or sometimes I just don't have the time. So just to let you know that. Okay, guys. So let me see here. Um, let me see. Mary Lee McGinnis McGraw. I've been in school eight years, but I was injured at work. Uh, not sure if I can continue. I'm an RN and I could totally understand that, Mary Lee. And sometimes they'll do certain things to you so that they do slow you down. So maybe it's that's your intention. Um, Mary, I don't know if there's like a really sore knee or a really sore leg around you. Can you tell me if you do have that sore knee or sore leg or if there's a female even around you with a really, really terrible it, it looks like a leg or a knee or 
it could be even an entire leg, but could you please tell me that Mary Lee McGinnis McGraw? Is there something to do with a really sore leg around you? Where are you? Where did you go, sweetie? Chrome browser. It is working, yes. So Mary, yes, who is that person with the really sore leg, can I ask you? Oh, severed ACL, oh my God, who the hell is that? Right knee, oh my God, okay. Youch. Okay, who is that, Mary? Is it a female? Is it you? Yay, Terry. <laughs> okay, so you had, okay, so perfect. Now, Mary Lee, I do feel really good things around you. I feel the energy of about six spirits. You've got a whole load of them. I don't know if you had two or three people that died in a very short time or very close to one another. I just get that feeling of a lineup, like, oh, my God, like, what the hell? Okay. I was down, oh, my God, by a 99-year-old woman. You poor lady. Okay. But anyways, I understand that, Mary. But anyways, I get the feeling of about six spirits around you. One definitely makes me feel they had cancer. And like I'm telling you, they went pretty fast from that cancer. This is, it's her. Okay. Um, let me see. Wow. Do you understand that, Mary Lee? But there's definitely something to do with someone who had cancer. Yes, you understand that. And she she definitely went very quickly or something to do with like a very quick passing around that cancer. So they didn't really have time to like go through the motions of being sick. My Okay, so my grandmother, my uncle, and my dad. So I understand. I don't know if somebody had had like a surgery and they were supposed to have a second surgery but it never happened, they said. So do you understand that, Mary Lee? Your uncle? Okay. So something to do with like, they're supposed to have this surgery, but it just never happened. So they make me feel that they come around as well, okay? And I don't know if somebody had a biopsy in the lung or in the left breast, but it looks like on the left side in the chest area. So I don't know if you can relate to that, um, Mary Lee. But I... I just feel around the ribs on the left-hand side or there's something to do with that. So your father, okay. So my fad, but I think you're supposed to say my dad. Okay, your, your father and dad all at once. But anyways, they just make me feel there's something to do with that left lung or something to do with biopsies around that. But anyways, they all say hello. They're having a really, really good Oh, he passed just before the surgery, but he did have, oh, so that's the second surgery that never happened. I understand. So there's something to do with that. Okay. So, yeah. So I understand. Okay. But I'm going to tell you, they're all around you. There's six of them, honey. Not just two or three. There's six of them, and they're always together, and they just make me feel that they passed away close together or in close proximity of each other, or there's something to do with two or three that died in a short time together. So just to let you know, Mary Lee, I feel that really strongly around you. Now, um, I don't know if there's... Uh, all I want to do is have some fun. Who the hell sings that? Cheryl Crow. Um, I need to know party in Gaelic. I want to do is have some fun. I don't know. I want to do what is that song? All I want to do. Hang on, I gotta look it up now. It's a Cheryl Crow song. Hang on. Santa Monica Boulevard. Santa Monica Boulevard song. Uh, let me see. And it's the Cheryl Crow. Hang on. Cheryl. Hang on. All I want to do is have... Isn't it all I want to do is have some fun is what I'm hearing. 
All I want to do. So I don't know if you can relate to that, Mary Lee shared. Okay. I don't know if you can relate to that, Mary Lee, or Cheryl Crow, or I think she's from Vancouver, isn't she? Or even Santa Monica, but I'm hearing that freaking song and I don't know why. So I don't know if you can relate to that, uh, Mary Lee, but there's something to do with that. And um, I'll play it. Hang on. Uh, it says summer of 2004, 2005, I guess. Did you remember this one? This is LA. I think so, she said. I want to have fun before I die. Maybe it's the lyrics. Okay, so go listen to the words of that song. I, I, all I know is a little bit of the lyrics because I like to drive to it when I'm driving, but other than that, it's not on any CD I have. So good song. It is a good song. But go check out the words or go check out to see if there's something in there that you can figure out. But I'm hearing that song. But just to let you know, uh, Mary Lee, they're around you quite a bit. I don't want you worrying about them, but they're around you quite a bit. I keep on seeing the 21st as well. So I didn't know if that was important to you. Uh, 21st of any month, unless it's February 1st or February to February 21st, is the only other thing I can think of. Birthdays, anniversaries, passings. But there you have it. But guys, you guys are so freaking amazing. And I lost everybody out of the green room, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> Your dad loves Cheryl Crow. It could even be, it could even be for you, sweetie, but someone is definitely singing that song so and I, I can hear it actually so which is kind of cool uh let me see i thought she had answered mary where are you mary lee my son's birthdays okay so 2004 2005 it could even be just to do with that and this song here i forget what it said i think it said april 10th it was produced on or something unless that's just the day of the video i don't know but I don't think this is the official video, but go check it out anyways, because there could be some kind of clue, but I'm hearing that. You guys are just so awesome. So nobody came forward. Um, actually, nobody came forward with the hanging in the closet. So I'm going to tell you guys, I kept on getting the feeling of a male who had hung in a closet. So you guys might know someone. It looks like a really ugly, like like a powdery, ugly blue. I'm sorry, but it doesn't look pretty. It looks like that, like... Um, I don't know, it looks almost like lead paint walls, so it could even be from long ago, but there's something to do with that. It made me feel that they hung in a closet. It looks like the second room to the right, but it looks like a bedroom. Um, you're welcome, Mary Lee. You're welcome, sweetie. But I keep on seeing that, and um, this, this male makes me feel that he hung himself. They talk about three people being in the house or the apartment when this happened, so they make you feel that there were three there. I think just one person found this person. Okay, so I get that. Um, but just to let you know, um, I get the feeling of that male that comes here. Now, they do make me feel that they're connected to someone here tonight. So I don't know if it's just someone that's, uh, it's not in a shed, Wendy. It's, it looks like it's in a room. It's an ugly blue room. It, I could see the closet doors. They're like the sliding doors. They're not doors that open like this. Um, but there's something to do with that in a shed. No, I don't think that's what it is. Um, it's a really ugly blue room, it looks like. Uh, can people predict their death? Yeah, some people can, absolutely. My dad absolutely knew he was going to die by the end of September, and there was no talking him out of it, but he did. He died by the end of September, so... A lot of people do. I know my grandfather always said he was going to die Christmas Day, and he died Christmas Day. So about 10, 15 years later, but he did. He died Christmas Day. So it's kind of interesting. Some people do. Some people don't. Some people say they're going to die young, and they do, but it's not because they know. They just kind of just know they're not meant for this world for a very long time, but they don't. It's not like they know every single detail, but, oh, man, uh, I'm so sorry to hear about your husband. 
And it's difficult, you know, when you lose someone like tra tragically, especially, it's just so difficult. You know what I mean? So it is. Um, my hubby keeps on telling me he's going to die in a few months. Well, get him to a freaking doctor then. And I would definitely. But um, no, and I understand that when people say that, I, I kind of take that seriously. So take a look at it and see maybe he's feeling some way because he's not feeling well. Uh, maybe he's feeling overwhelmed, you know, but maybe de definitely talk to a doctor about it. Maybe, you know, I have, um, my dad died when he was young and um, one of my brothers really, you know, felt that he was going to die, you know, at the same time as my dad. And now he's three years older than what my dad was when my dad died. And so he's feeling better about his own, you know, um, experience. But the thing is, at the end of the day, some people, um, they do feel that way. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen. Sometimes it does. So um, I'm actually writing about that. I just wrote some articles. If you guys want to go check out at mediumjlane.com, uh, my blog, I talk a lot about dying. And I'm actually writing a book about dying. So because I've seen so much and experienced so much about death. And, uh, you know, so many people feel that it's the end, but it's it's really not. But it could be because he had experience, too, with someone dying young, and he's feeling that maybe his life is going to end up the same way. So get to the root of it. I definitely would speak to him. Tell him that you're worried about that because that you're aware some people can predict these things. And, and you know, get him checked out. But I would definitely do that. And uh, at least to make you feel a little bit better. And then if those couple of months go by and nothing happens, tell him he's not God. He can't make that prediction. I, I can't even predict that for crying out loud. Jeez, you know. But um, why do people choose who they want present at the time that they die? Sometimes they don't want certain people there because... Um, and sometimes they want certain people there because people need to experience that. It could be just a soul's agreement, Ricardo, uh, where people agree to be there. Like for myself, I was there for both my parents, whereas my other siblings weren't. And so, um, you know, I was alone with my dad when he died. We, I was the only sibling present when my mother died. Why was I the only one? Why is it that I'm the youngest and I had to go through that? You know, but yet I kind of knew that inside that I would be with my mom and my dad when they died. I kind of made my soul that promise inside of myself that I'd be there for them. Um, but they do choose certain people. Some people they know they can't handle their dying. Some people know that some people hang on to the idea of how they died, how they took that last breath, what they looked like when they died, you know, what the room smelled like, who was eating what, who was, you know, walking out of the room, who burst out crying. It's, you know, there's so many things that goes on with that. But, you know, the soul is kind of, in, you know, pre-plans all of this stuff. Not It's not a last-minute thing, trust me. It's way pre-planned. But they do pick certain people because of the soul's agreement. So, and it could be because you learn something. I, I know I learned something from both of my parents' death. I learned from my dad's death that I shouldn't worry about things until they happen because I worried about my dad all my life. My dad had heart attacks from the time I can remember, from the time I'm, you know, four or five years old. I, I saw ambulance lights inside my bedroom growing up. And because uh, my dad was always at the hospital, always having heart attack after heart attack. And with my mother, um, it, it was kind of interesting. My mother had been sick for a very, very long time. But for my mother, I learned about my ego. I had a big ego that I had to let go of. But I learned so much from her death. And I also learned to, um, to really appreciate the fact that we come here with nothing and we leave with the same. So um, within weeks, I quit my job after my mother died because I had decided that I was not going to live my life empty yeah i was going to do the things that i wanted to do and it was like i was fearless after she was dying i'm thinking oh my god i quit a freaking government job benefits and everything to pursue my mediumship but i have no regrets really i'm, I'm really quite uh thankful that that happened to me so you know but guys i have to jump off i have a meeting but i want to thank everybody who's tried to get into the green room there was one lady i couldn't see her for a long time and lena i see you now but the thing is i have to jump off but please i'd love for you to join me next week if you could because you look like you're all set up for it honey thank you but i'd love to see you but please jump on next tuesday but i will be here next tuesday again guys just so that you know i have um an evening with medium jaylen kind of excited about it i'm selling 
tickets as we speak. And this is my last show here in Sunbury. I am going to be in Pittsburgh, actually, October 6th and October 7th. I will be posting that on my website very, very soon. And so I'll be offering readings in Pittsburgh. I'm kind of excited about it. And um, let me see. And also, trusting your intuition with me and Jay, that's me, of course. September 23rd at the Lexington. Very limited seating, guys. Don't wait till it's too late. I'm going to be advertising. I've not advertised any of these except for here. Just mentioning them, but don't wait too late till it's too late. Anyways, I love you guys. I have to jump off, but I will see you again next Tuesday. Till then. I love you guys. Big virtual hug. Bye, guys.